Hey everybody, it's Lisa Marie here. Hi my sweet lifers. Happy Easter to you guys. I am so excited to share with you the home tour for Easter this year. A lot of new things are different. I've actually gone ahead and gotten in some of the flowers. Look at these beautiful flowers that I grew from seed. The butterflies have been having a heyday out here in the front garden. But let me show you what I did differently. So as you can tell, I replaced the carpet, replaced some of the pillows. Uh, intertwined from the red from Valentine's Day, all the different colors that are from spring for the pinks and the, and the uh, light pinks and hot pinks. Did the same thing on the wreath and put the little bunny there. And then we can go in the house and I'll show you the house. So I did keep the staircase exactly as I told you guys I was going to. I really think it really plays well throughout the whole house. So the consistency of that is important to me. In the bathroom, I have a little ribbon that matches these stairs, and I did some bunnies, both on the actual wreath around the mirror, but also down the side where the hand towels are at the sink. So these are bunnies that I've had since the kids were itty bitty. So I love doing that. New this year are the carrot bunnies. I found these at one of the home stores. I love them. They're so cute with their little fringe around their necks. But again, kept the ribbon all the way back from Christmas, guys. So literally all that's been added is the swags of the eggs, the carrots, and then, like I said, new to this year, the sweet little bunnies. In the dining room, I decided to make a theme of eggs as a centerpiece. All these years past, I've actually put in something a little bit more formal, but I thought this year, why not do something a little bit more casual? So I found this really neat uh, table runner that has like a moss feel to it, a little bit less messy than in years past. And I got candles that actually look like little Easter eggs and just did those around there. These guys are left over from Valentine's Day. They're real hard to keep straight though, I must say. I have to keep straightening them up all the time. So this is the formal living I mean formal dining room and then over here in the kitchen I did a sweet little Easter message happy Easter with a new little sweet bunny and then over here last year I don't know if you remember I found this guy and one of my mamas found me another one and so I have two so I have one in here and then I have one in the den but all the stuff that you see here the way it's laid out is completely different from years past this little guy's new these little girls are so sweet. They're little salt and pepper shakers that actually, I think, match. Look at the artichoke. Matches the refrigerator magnet. So I'm just thrilled to pieces to have found those because those really look well in here and will be here year-round. Over here, for those of you who have been paying attention to the DIY, we've got our resurrection garden. And I'm really excited about that. And then that sweet little bunny that I always usually have in the kitchen somewhere has found his little place this year in a little wreath of eggs. These guys are left over from last year. You'll remember those if you look at the other home tour. But these are new. And I was looking for something else that actually found these and I cut them and, and they work perfectly. So it's just a little extra doodad I have on the bar and around the form, informal kitchen table. So in here's the kitchen table. And this year, I decided to pull these guys out, pull out the actual garland, and then hang the eggs off of them instead of taking a uh, hanger and attaching it to the actual Eiffel Tower. I think they look better this way. So this is a new way of doing it. This is actually the way I'll probably be doing it from now on. Back there, I've got a really sweet display with my metallic bunnies and, of course, the cross and just some swags of some different things from here and there from years gone by. I mean, that little swag there last year, if you look, was actually on this Eiffel Tower. It looks really nice, just sprinkled amongst the bunnies there on the shelves. Over here, you'll remember these guys were painted last year. This year, I left them where they were from last year, but I rearranged some stuff a little bit differently with regards to the signage. This last year was up here. This year, I've got it down here. And then I found these cute little cards. I need to cut that little thing off. I found these cute little cards at one of the art stores, and they're so inexpensive. I think they're like a dollar a piece, but they really matter. It looks really finished by having them there. 
whereas before they just weren't quite all completely decorated. Over here you've got a really sweet display of bunnies. You remember last year these girls were actually over there beside the couch. This year I took some of the hydrangeas that I would used on the mantle and completely redid the whole way this is displayed and I really like how it turned out. I thought about putting some lights on it but I think it's just fine the way it is. And then these little guys are old, old, old. They've been with me for so many years, but I just love the way they, they still look sweet. Over here in the back window, you've got a nice display with the cross. Lots of pretty little things here and there. Some of my ceramic eggs that I always find a place to display, usually actually in this room. And then the sweet little bunny, and I put a little wreath on her head, a little purple. I thought it looked really sweet. I think I may put a little bow around her neck, but I haven't decided yet. This is that other bunny I was telling you guys about that's there uh, that I got last year, and my friend found the other one. And these are literally just pieces of leftover garland that I just have in a box, and I'm able to reuse them, which is what I love about doing this stuff, is that if you keep your stuff year to year, you can completely change everything up. And this is just leftover pieces of that same garland that I have around the front door outside. Two years ago, I was using it on those two trees around the front door with all the butterflies during the spring video. So this has really lasted a long time. The mantle is absolutely stunning. I'm so thrilled this year with the way it turned out. I changed out the bunnies bows. I gave them a check bow. You remember last year on the video for the DIY, I showed you how to take these bunnies and hand paint those ears check. So the check bunnies on the top match the check bows on the bottom and then I also have a little bit more of that sweet garland with those bunnies I just love them they're so sweet they really are these were the centerpiece for last year on the dining room table this I just picked up on Amazon something just easy breezy to just give it one little extra fluff and then these are all again that garland that's from the front all reused over here on the mantle along with all this garland with eggs from years gone by. I mean, none of this stuff is new. This is all left over. Every bit of it is just redone in a different way, which is what I want you guys to do with your decorations. Just box them and label them, and then you can redo them every single year. The centerpiece of, this, of the decorations for this year, though, for me, is actually right here. I'm gonna turn around all the way around so that you can see from this angle. When you walk in the front door and you get past the piano and those sweet little bunnies that we hand painted last year as well, you've got this beautiful display here. And I, at sweet little bunny here sitting on the, on the couch, I just love her too. But this right here, I just think is so nice how it turned out. This is really a complete look. If all you did was just one table like this in your house, you'd be doing just great. This is a really nice way to display and have in your home an Easter sort of splash. Just take one spot and just do that. You don't have to do it all over. But these little eggs are so sweet. They're very fragile. They're, they're glass. And I bought these when Victoria Ann was born. So these are 24-year-old Easter eggs that I've had. And then I don't remember where I got this guy, but, but I've had him for at least a couple of years. And then this tree, you guys remember, I was working on putting those ornaments. I talked to you about that, that have all the different vegetables and fruit. They were too heavy. And then we put the hearts on it for Valentine's in the kitchen. We then put the shamrocks on it in the kitchen for St. Patrick's Day. But for this month, and actually, I actually keep this up all the way through till the end of May. These little eggs are so light and they're not given any weight at all to this, this tree. So this is just the way it's gonna be now on display for the next two and a half months. So anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the home tour. I really always look forward to hearing all the compliments and so sweet some of the things that you guys say about the house. I spend a lot of time working on it each year. I want it to be different because you guys know I've got families that come see me for photos. So we've got certain spots in the house that we use for actually backdrops for those photos as well. But like I said before, I hope you guys have a happy Easter and I'll see you soon on the channel. Stay sweet.